Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Today, we have an awesome video. Today, we are going to talk about what to do with all of your Lunari. So you can see up here, we have 25,000 Lunari. How do we possibly spend all of this Lunari, OGC? Well, fear not, my friends. I will help you to uh, up your spending and uh, also direct you towards what to purchase. So I think for right now, there's probably uh, four different events that I, I would consider like um, spending li li Lunari on. And I'm probably forgetting one, so the comments will blow up like, oh my god, you did not mention this. So if that's the case, so be it. Leave me a comment below telling me why I'm wrong. So uh, for, for this, there's four main main events that I think are just absolutely hands down the, the, the best. And I'm going to go through them. I'm going to talk about the different Lunari amounts that you need to spend to get some type of reward from it. And from there, um, it's going to be up to you to decide what to save your Lunari for. Um, hopefully explaining how much Lunari is needed in order to actually like participate in the events. Hopefully that helps you with making your decisions. So the first one, the most important one, uh, this one I, I think trumps all of them. If we are a free to play player, then I would highly consider this to be the one that, that we save up for. And it is none other than the Graydon, Dr Greater Dragon Abilities. So this is an event, it's called Finders Keepers. With Finders Keepers, what makes this one really interesting is it only comes out every three months. So if you've been around for a little bit, you 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 know this. Um, it, it's, it comes out about as frequently as Dragon Armor does. Never ever do Dragon Armor. It looks really nice, but it's the biggest waste of money in the entire world for pretty much nothing. So anyways, Greater Dragon Abilities is different because the Greater Dragon Abilities, th this isn't even the, the, the good one for right now. Let, let's pull up the good one at least. For Greater Dragon Abilities, there's a few reasons why th this is so good. Uh, the first reason why this event is so good is because usually these abilities are extremely strong. If you look at the uh, Dragon Scale Heart, insanely strong. Uh, once this gets fully maxed out, there's like a one out of five or a one out of three chance that they heal um all the damage that they're taking from from an attack not only that but they take out uh, reduced critical hit damage they have massive increased health and they also reduce incoming damage like this is just like mandatory for for dragons so the reason why uh the the first reason for finders keepers or the greater dragon ability which comes out every three months uh, is because they're usually super strong and usually super broken. The Dreamweaver one is a little bit lackluster, but the very first one that came out, the Dragon Scale, unbelievably strong. The second biggest reason is when you roll these abilities on, I can't show you it because uh, all my abilities are on the dragon, but when you go to um, learn a greater dragon ability, you actually get to pick which skill you replace, which... That alone is a massive thing, but but it has a lot more than just that. So roll with me on this example. Right now we have two greater dragon abilities. We want to make a perfect dragon, uh, which means that we're probably going to roll uh, Hero Pred off. We don't actually have to roll eight skills or seven skills perfectly on a divine dragon. We only need to get five on there perfectly. And then we add in the two greater abilities because you pick where they go in. So. What I'm trying to say is making perfect dragons using greater dragon abilities makes it statistically way easier to actually make a perfect dragon. It is so much easier with greater dragon abilities because instead of having to have seven perfect rolls in a row, um, all you need is five. And that, that's, that's huge. And they don't even have to be perfect rolls because you have two extra spots that, you know, it doesn't matter where the ability lands on as long as it's not the predation because you can just fill in the missing gaps with the greater dragon abilities. So that, that's the second big reason for the uh, greater dragon ability um, being so important and probably the most important, the finders keepers. Uh, the, 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 the last portion of it is the 
event comes out once every three months. We're on schedule right now that it should be coming out in June of 2021. If you're watching this in the future, just do out some math three months after that, three months after that, whatever it looks like. Now, in order to do this event, you need to save up 24,000 Lenari. Uh, give or take a little bit because I'm not taking into account um, your free rolls, how many free rolls, I can't remember all that stuff, guys. So just plan on having at least 24,000 Lenari. That's going to be the magic number that's going to come up all day, every day. 24,000 Lenari. The reason why you want 24,000 Lenari is at the end of the Finder's Keepers, if you do all 125 uh, rolls for it, uh, then you are guaranteed to get this, the, the skill. For events like Finder's Keepers, you really want to be able to get that 125 so that you get the end result. The chance of getting the Greater Dragon ability is half of that of getting a skin from the Lucky Wheel. So it's kind of like one of those things you have to go all in uh, to do this event properly. If you don't have enough Lunari to go all in, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's one of those things like you can risk it, uh, in, I probably wouldn't, I, if we're like a full on free to play player, I probably wouldn't risk it because it's half the chance of getting a, a skin from, from the lucky wheel. Um, I would just save up until the next time where you can ac actually do the 125 rolls. That's probably the biggest part of the finders keepers event because you want that guaranteed chest at the end to select which greater dragon ability you want. That brings us into the second event. The second event is actually going to be, let's see if I can find a good one for, for example, for background stuff. It's going to be the Golden Board or the Lucky Dice event. This comes out every month, again, to get uh, that 125 rolls so you can pick which true shard or true stone you want. Uh, it requires 125 spins. This is another event that... Um, I highly recommend maxing out. This is not one that we, we cannot max out if we participate in it. Uh, so it's 125 spins. That comes out to be about 24,000 Lunari, right, right around there. Add in some free rolls every day, and it's, it, it's a little bit less than that. But plan on 24,000 Lunari. This comes out once every 30 days. Usually it's the second Friday of the month. This event is the second most important event to participate in every time. The reason why is... First of all, you get a prism. Uh, so prisms are insanely strong, guys. Uh, they are no joke. Second of all, uh, you get an, a, a pick of a true shard once you do 125 uh, rolls on it. So here's the deal with it. I am not very lucky when it comes to getting true stones. Anybody that's followed the channel, you know this. Just look at six months of me trying to get a stupid true ruby. Um, <laughs> it was in frustrating. So... Prisms and true shards, very, very important. This is your best way of being able to select which true shard or true stone you want. Um, nothing is better than this. Also, by participating in the event, you're just going to accrue so much stuff where you can automatically bring a prism up to level 7. Bringing a prism up to level 7, you're going to get a ton of... Um, uh, bonuses from, from the dice event just by leveling it up. And those bonuses will usually include... Uh, Enchanted Prism Crystals, which are going to give you 500 EXP. These things are dynamite, absolutely amazing. Um, so what, what I do recommend is do the dice event every, every time it comes out and go 125 spins, that's 24,000 Lunari. Those are the only two events I would uh, consider as far as like spending Lunari that we should and or must max out uh, to the 125. We got Finders Keepers for the Greater Dragon ability, and then we have the Golden Board slash Dice event for the Prism so that you can pick another True Shard. I think with the older servers, like if we look at Tain and stuff, there's like, I don't know, 16 Prisms or something. That's a lot of uh, stones that we're going to need. So that looks like 24,000 Lunari every single month. And then once every three months, we need 24,000 Lunari for the Finders Keepers. So if we average that out, that comes out to be uh, 32,000 Lunari monthly that we need to accrue. So go start getting first place in every single event. <laughs> because that, that that is a lot of Lunari. But I, I, I think without breaking the bank, without um, 
spending too much, you can have absolutely amazing uh, uh, account progression just by making sure that you never miss finders keepers and you always get 125 on the uh, dice or golden board. Uh, those two things I think are absolutely vital. From there, event number three, this is the my, my personal third priority. So number one, finders keepers, never miss it. Number two, golden board, the lucky dice, whatever it is, um, never miss it. Both are, cost 24,000 Lenari each to max out to make sure that you get the best rewards. The third event that I would um, consider is going to actually be uh, uh, the divination event or w whatever it's called where you can get um, you, you can get troop equipment from it and that troop equipment uh, will have four combat stats you can pick which spot it goes into. This event, by the way, you do not need to max out. So the previous events, um, the Finders Keepers, the Lucky Dice, we need to max out with 125 rolls or spins, whatever it looks like. For the Dividation event, it's going to cost 30 rolls to get one of those chests uh, with the troop equipment where you pick what type it is and then you get a bunch of uh, combat stats on it. This is my go-to for leftover Lunari. So as I was saying, 32,000 Lunari I need to generate every month uh, between Lucky Dice, uh, because that's 24,000 every month, and then the Finders Keeper is 24,000 every three months. So whatever I have left over uh, from Lunari, I will dump into the Dividation event. However, Dividation event is, um, what, what, what is that, 30 rolls, it's uh, 188 Lunari per, per roll. Throw, throw in a couple of free rolls and call it 6,000 Lunari. It's, it's less than that, it's probably like 5,600. Um, let's just call it 6,000 Lunari. Every 6,000 Lunari you have left over, put it into the Dividation event uh, to get the, the troop equipment. Getting good troop equipment really, really matters. Um, so that's just what I would do. That could be personal bias just on where I'm at with my accounting and progression in, in the game. There might be something else that, that might be a little bit better, but I, I really think that hitting those those really rock solid um, troop equipments are just so important to, to make your, your troops strong. Again, you do not need to max this out. It's every 6,000 Lunari that you have left over. So if you have like 1,000 Lunari, um, don't bother with the Dividation. <laughs> just, just save it and wait. Because the hardest thing to do is save the, the Lunari and wait. Um, that being said, the third, in, or I'm sorry, the fourth and final thing I would consider spending Lunari on um, is actually going to be uh, the Anticipation is building. So we have the Lucky Wheel. So the Lucky Wheel I would consider it to be the fourth. Um, this is the least important. Uh, it It's not bad and I would consider doing enough rolls to get whatever the artifact is from it, especially if we're on a newer account and we don't have all of the artifacts. Um, I, would, I would consider taking leftover Lunari, especially if we're generating more than like 40,000 Lunari monthly. I would consider taking the, the leftover Lunari and just dumping it into the uh, the, the lucky, lucky Wheel. So, I don't think that the Lucky Wheel is the best thing overall, but it gives you a little bit of, of something. You have a chance of getting a skin. The skins nowadays, um, the stat boosting ones for like 10% more health or 10% more damage on, on a Rufio, very, very impactful. The ones that offer stats, not nearly as impactful because we have Hero Mastery and stats. Uh, the evolution of that throughout the, this game has changed drastically. So with the Lucky Wheel, if you have an abundance of leftover Lunari, it's a great place to dump it. But in order of personal, my, my thoughts, my opinions, what I'm doing, personal priority of spending events, we have first and foremost, Finders Keepers. This comes out once every three months. It will give you a greater dragon ability. Um, 125 spins, 24,000 Lunari. Do this. Uh, there's no other way to get greater dragon abilities. Um, I can see the argument 
for putting the lucky dice or golden board at, as the biggest priority. However, you have a chance, uh, a very small chance, to get out of the blue chest like a true ruby or something. There is no other possible way of getting dr greater dragon abilities. They are just monumentally huge. They make getting perfect dragons so much easier. Um, anyways, uh, once every 90 days, Finders Keepers, 24,000 Lenari, max it out. Number two is going to be the uh, Golden Board, uh, the Lucky Dice, um, 24,000 Lenari uh, monthly. That's at once every 30 days in order to get like that, that true um, stone. But you also get prisms and you can level up prisms and get giant bonuses by, by leveling up the prisms during that event. Number three, Divination. About 6,000 Lenari and you uh, will be guaranteed to get at least one troop equipment thing. Uh, you pick where you, which one you want it to be, if you want it to be the armor, the banner, the trinket, wh whatever, and it's guaranteed to have four combat stats. That is insane. Uh, so for the Divination thing, I would do this with leftover Lenari. It's, six, it's in increments of 6,000 Lenari. There's no point in doing it if you cannot get the guaranteed uh, troop equipment chest. Fourth and finally, whatever you have left over uh, that you know you, you can spend and it, it's not going to impact next month's uh, golden board or lucky dice event, anything like that, dump it into the lucky wheel. Why not? You might just get lucky and get a skin. Also, if you want to get lucky in the, in the game, subscribe to the channel. You're going to get a bunch of knowledge, and that might just help you out in, in the game. So with that, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Please smash the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.